Hi everyone, so this is the first video of my new project. Uh, I wanted to start with the design video to be clear as possible <coughs> for the next one. <coughs> so let's take a look at this. So the main part of the machine is of course the cast iron bed. Uh, so this is the universal model with a work area of 400 millimeters by 300. As you can see, the, this machine, this cast iron bed, uh, require 20 millimeters uh, size of rail and 16 millimeters um, ball screws di diameter. So this is what I uh, put in, as you can see. This is uh, hiring rails. I will show you in another uh, video. Um, for the motors, this is GMC uh, NEMA 34 with a three uh, newton meters uh, of couple for the first time i only have this spindle which is a 2.2 kilowatts uh, from uh, china but uh, i think uh, i will change it for uh, atc uh, as soon uh, as i can that uh, maybe a jenkin uh, 3.2 kilowatts i think let me know if you are okay with that I think I will also uh, mild uh, with this machine a new spindle mounting plate for this new ATC to uh, shorten uh, this uh, length to have a, a more rigid uh, structure and uh, and uh, efficiency uh, cuts. Also, I added a tool touch off. Uh, with uh, this setup, I'm not sure about uh, this setup. I I'll see if I will uh, take it or not. Uh, this is uh, uh, 19 because I will mill on a 20 millimeter thick plate, and here is the same with a 30. But I'm not sure. I, I will see. Uh, then, yes, for the mounting brackets for the motor, I choose the old version. I uh, talk with the supplier from China and uh, this is the old uh, configuration and because I think the integrated seat brackets with the with the bearing blocks is not a good idea if you want a cheaper uh, cheaper configuration because uh, if you want a good uh, parallelism between the surface and the axis and all these things you have to buy a good uh, integrated uh, brackets HM uh, so I think it will be more expensive and for the rail covers I only uh, clear for the Y axis so as you can see this is uh, essential uh, structure for the to support the rail covers so there is a big uh, rail covers that I will order from China and uh, I think it will do the job for, for now it will be uh, the cheaper configuration now let's take let's talk about the um, the frame so this is a silent block that I will show you on the on the screen uh, so I choose this to uh, separate and to stop the vibration uh, to the welded uh, frame and uh, so this is the welded frame uh, it's already uh, almost done this is the subject of the next video so this is the classic one with uh, 80 by 80 millimeters um, 840 millimeters by 800 over length uh, the thickness of the of all the um, all the profiles are three millimeters I think it will do the job this is mounting plates for the fits so I think also it will be uh, the cheaper thing I can do and so yes I think I said all the important things 
yes, the last thing I just wanted to notice is that the project, all the 3D models uh, will progress uh, over the time. So I will put an enclosure, uh, a tank, not a tank, but uh, the thing that will take all the chips uh, and maybe a prompt. So all these things uh, will be added on the future. Sorry about my English, but uh, I decided to go further with English so most of people uh, can understand me. So thanks for watching till the end and uh, I will put uh, other video on the welded frames, all the high wind rails. I will talk about more in details about all the features I, uh, I choose and uh, yes, see you.